There's Mike over here waiting for Brian Colby to get here and meet us. Look at that. We're up here at Knoxon Town. Up in the grass flats in the upper end and we were looking for the bait fish to be schooling. They weren't uh, they weren't here and we were starting to move out. I threw a dirty jig swim jig with the Grandy Bass trailer on the back of it and felt a little thump. Let him run for a second. Giant chain pickerel, isn't it? <laughs> nice. Okay, it's not big, but we're catching. Uh, throwing the dirty jig swim jig. Uh, this time I have a net bait pocket crawl trailer on the back. Uh, Kurt had another one on uh, chatterbait uh, last week when he was down here. And uh, right off the same point, so that's why I came over here to work this. And uh, this one hit the swim jig. So we're going to mix it up with uh, swim jigs, chatterbaits, and uh, hopefully Brian will be here soon. Easy. Yeah. Not giant, but a good healthy fish. Chatterbait. Had another couple small ones, but uh, they're too small to film. But uh, they're hitting chatterbaits on sunline. Uh, fluorocarbon. I'm using the new structure fluorocarbon too today. Uh, this is Sunline uh, FX2 braid using the eye rods and uh, D&M chatterbait with a split tail trailer. Yeah. There you go, look at that. Not a giant, but a good fish. You can see the black marks in him. He's down in the grass, heavy grass here. Decent. On a chatterbait, eye rod, sunline, here at Noxon Town, late October, almost November, 39 degrees in the morning. Water temperature is 53.2. He's in two feet of water in the pads. All right, I'm going to get on out of here. Uh, it's a little slow. You could stay here probably a couple more hours, maybe even until dark, get four or five more. Who knows how big they'd be, but it's just not the kind of action I'm looking for right now. So I'm going to go home and get everything together and uh, put some new line on the, on the rods and uh, put the new structure fluorocarbon on a couple more. I think it's going to be time for a jig probably soon in all the lakes and ponds. And uh, I'm going to get back to the upper bay next week once these water temperatures are stable. So until next time, Steve Von Brandt for the Bass College. And We'll see you down the way.